Hey guys, Ace here, and welcome to Python tutorial number three. In this tutorial, we're going to be reviewing variables in Python. Go ahead and open up the idle again, because we're still using that. Um, now, what a variable is, um, it's quite simple. If you've ever done in algebra, if you've ever done algebra at all, really, you should be familiar with the concept of variables. But basically, a variable is a way of um, uh, storing a value and then you can use the name of the variable to uh, reference that value that is inside the variable or to represent uh, that value as well uh, or refer to however you want to look at it so in Python unlike a lot of other programming languages we don't have to specify the type of variable um, because Python will automatically figure out whether the variable is being given a string value or an integer value or a floating point value or a boolean value and so on um, and also once you've uh, created a variable w say you gave it a string value uh, the variable isn't stuck with that string value okay it can then change to an integer value in a reassignment uh, but let's enough with the talking let's go ahead and look at the actual code so uh, I'm going to use a variable name which is common to most people if they've ever done algebra which is x okay so let's say x is equal to 5 that's how we create a variable and give it a value okay x equals 5 now x is present in um, in the shell so I can then say print x and it prints out the value inside x uh, to reassign the value of x, I just again say x equals, and then I could say x equals hello world. If I then print x now, I get hello world. Uh, so those are two types we've already seen, uh, which are uh, integers and strings, and as well as integers and strings, we've also seen uh, floating point values. Oops, print x, there we go. And one value that we haven't seen yet is uh, boolean values. I talked about this just before and you may not have known what I was talking about because I haven't covered what boolean means but a boolean value is basically true or false so oh and in Python it has to the um, true and false have to be capitalized if I put false in lower caps you see it doesn't turn purple because it has to be capitalized so if I put x equals true and then print x I get true okay um, this, uh, we haven't, actually I won't talk about that now. Um, just so, uh, no I won't talk about that either. Uh, that's most of what variables are. Uh, I'm just going to cover some more, uh, tidbit things about variables. So if I have another variable called y equals 10, and I'll reassign x to 5, we can then say print x plus y, and we get 15 but the values inside x and y don't change, we're just um, seeing what it would be like. If we want to change the values inside x and y, we could say y equals x plus y. And then if I print y, y is now 15, okay? Um, now, uh, when you do this here, y equals x plus y, there is a way to shorten this, because um, essentially y equals x plus y is just adding the value of x to y. Um, so Python has a way to shorten this to y plus equals x. So y plus equals x is the same as y equals x plus y. It's just adding on to y plus equals x means add on to the value of y. This, uh, the x, the value of x, okay? and that's what this means as well y equals x plus y basically means add on to the value of y the value of x so if i do y plus equals x and print y uh... it should now be what x was five so it should be twenty now there we go uh... as well as plus equals there are minus equals as well y minus equals y that will make y zero um... Y, let's reassign y y divide equals um, and then y is now 2, okay? Uh, and the final one, of course, y times equals 5, it's now 10 again, okay? Um, we can assign to variables uh, 
expressions, okay? As you see here, x plus y is an expression. It's not um, an... E uh, I've forgotten. The word's gone out of my head just now. But uh, it doesn't have an equal sign. This would be... Um, wait, is that an expression? Or I've forgotten which one it is. But there's one where if it doesn't have an equal sign, it's this. And if it does have an equal sign, it's that. I've forgotten which one it is. But um, you can assign... Um, let's say expressions for the one without equals, because I, I think it's expression. But you can as assign uh, variables expressions. So, like I did up there, y you could say equals 5 times 2 plus 1. That should be 11. There we go. Um, now, let's cover something a bit quickly. Y uh, or 5 times 2. Okay, so let's see what what's going to happen here. 5 plus 5 is 10, times 2 is 20. Okay, let's enter that, check Y. Wait a minute, 15. What's going on here? Okay, the reason is, um, in Python, there is uh, the same rule that applies in mathematics. It's called bod mass or bid mass. You may have heard of it. I think it's something different in the US as well. So I'll briefly explain what it is. I'm not just going to say bod mass or bid mass. But... Um, it's basically um, the order of um, what gets done first. So, uh, before you get into high school, you won't have seen this. So, um, before you get into high school, some like 5 plus 5 times 2 would be 20, because that's 5 plus 5 equals 10 times 2 equals uh, 20. But um, when you use bid mass on this, uh, we, we actually have, I'll just write out bid mass and I'll tell you what each letter means. So the B stands for brackets. So anything that's between brackets is always done first. The I stands for indices, uh, which means stuff like powers, okay? So uh, this to the power of 5 or something, that would go after brackets. But then before um, the next one, so the next one is d equals division, and the next one is multi m equals multiplication. Now d and m are actually on the same level, okay? So if we had, let's just, uh, if we had something like, if we were to write out what level each thing is on, it would be b, i, d, m, and then a, s. So brackets come first, then indices, then if you have both division and multiplication in the sum, then you do whichever one comes first. So if there's a division and then there's a multiplication, you do the division first, because they're on the same level. And then finally, addition and subtraction, again on the same level. So in this case, we have an addition and a multiplication. Now because um, m is above um, above a, on uh, the levels, then we would do uh, the timesing, the multiplication first. So 5 times 2 equals 10. So now our sum becomes, uh, let me just get rid of this quickly. So first we have 5 plus 5 times 2. Then we do the multiplication. So now we have 5 plus 10. And 5 plus 10 equals 15. So then we have 15. And that's basically how it works, OK? Um, so, I think that's just about it for this tutorial, guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment, send me a message, a PM, that is, on YouTube. Send me an email or use a contact form on my website. Over and out, guys.